In this video with the Anking, I'm going to show you a tool that you can use PDFs and Anki together with. It's called Polar. Uh, their tagline is that you read, learn, and never forget. Very similar to what we have. And I want to show you all the cool features of their website and Anki integration. First thing I want to tell you is that there's all sorts of information in the description of this video, so check that out. Uh, there's a, a, a discount if you want to sign up for this. There's a link if you want to just get logged in, and I'll update that with any more information I have. But basically, I came across Polar um, actually quite a while ago, years ago, and saw that they had some sort of Anki connection that wasn't necessarily working the best at the time. But um, as I learn more about it now, they're, they're actually they were kind of a side project, and now they've hired multiple people and are really taking off and improving things uh, on a daily basis so expect things to just get better from uh, when I record this video but basically they you know they help you read PDFs and integrate that type of studying and make flashcards from it they even have some um, AI integration that creates flashcards for you so uh, this website will give you obviously a little more information here you can sign up for early access uh, or, or whatever it may be at the time but I'm gonna actually take you into this so this is what it looks like when you're actually reading I pull up a PDF and it jumps straight to where I left off it's kind of nice it does similar things as you go across devices. Um, but if we go to my documents here, this kind of home home base, um, you'll see I've downloaded two, and these are two um, copyright free ones I just found online as examples. Uh, there's a neuroscience one and, and Spanish. So you click into them, uh, it loads, and you can see what it is. You can adjust the page width to whatever you want may want it to be. You can make highlights. Um, you can choose what color you want the highlights to be. Uh, you can, they, they even have uh, shortcuts there for the numbers, and you can use that to organize what the information is. I'll actually show you here in a second. Um, and then there's a bunch of other things you can do here. But I'm just going to leave it with that. We'll delete this. I'm going to go back into our Spanish one because I've, I've been making a bunch of examples. So you can see a Along the side here, these are um, things that I've already done. A couple of them are flashcards. One is just a highlight, and I made that green just to separate it out. But I'm going to go in here on the side, and we will jump to the context. So we'll go down in, and you can see here's the highlights that I've made, those three in this box. Uh, now let's say I wanted to highlight this top one, so I can highlight it. And you can choose a color, you can um, edit notes, you can add a comment, you know, write your own thing in there, you can add a tag if you want to, there's all sorts of things. Um, what I'm going to do is do a flashcard. So you can do a manual flashcard. If I click that, it lets me, you know, make a manual flashcard. You can do a basic Anki flashcard or you can do a closed flashcard. And these ones here are going to use AI to do that. So I'm going to create the basic one uh, with, with AI because this is a fairly simple thing. Uh, don't expect AI to uh, be magically creating, uh, you know, taking paragraphs and making flashcards cards for you but it is kind of cool and you can see here it actually does a pretty good job of making that flashcard for me now I can even go in and actually edit things I can add a tag so if I wanted to say well oh, these are flashcards that I wanted I can add flashcards you can use those sorts of tags to organize things and then I can actually come in here and type things so I can say this is gonna be awesome right uh, whatever you want and I can add backlinks so if you do two um, left brackets in a row it will fill it in with the right bracket and add a backlink. And that will only uh, reference up to your documents here. And I only have two at the time, uh, at the moment. But uh, so basically if I wanted to say like, oh, this one's neuroscience related, you know, I can I can do that. Um, but that's kind of how, and if I were to click on that, it would take me to the neuroscience page. Um, now you can also do area highlights if I click on this. Just click on that and you can highlight the whole area. It's really cool because it even um, pops that up here in the sidebar, it takes a minute to load, uh, which so makes it really easy and quick to like go through and find uh, everything that you wanted to. So very, very nice for uh, reading in that aspect. Now, if I go over to my annotations, these are all the flashcards that I've made, right? Now, um, well, or not necessarily flashcards, sometimes it's just a highlight like this. So if I come in and you, you can filter by what colors they are, you can filter by, I'm gonna filter just for the flashcards. You can actually start a review. And if I start a review, um, oh, I finished. Um, but if I made a new flashcard, uh, uh, which I did today, it will show up tomorrow. And you can do reviews just like any review in Anki. So it's, it's really cool that way and it has a good easy button, uh, uh, um, very, very handy. Or I can filter out which ones do I want. So I could say which annotations do I want? Oh, I just want the flashcards. And then I wanna export them as an Anki deck. Uh, which I think is great. Uh, so you do have to like export it to Anki as opposed to syncing automatically. But well, I think that's super simple and, and makes a lot of sense, makes life really easy. 
And then the, if you go to notes, this is all the things that you've actually been working on. So if we click on the Spanish, it'll pull up all of the comments we have. Um, but there's also, back to notes, uh, these daily ones that I have here. And that's actually this daily notes function. So you can type things. You can see I've written one here. I can do, hello there. If there's any Kenobi fans out there, uh, you know, we can do a backlink to the neuroscience document. You can, whatever you want to do. You can, um, uh, it's very handy. Click on things, format them, whatever, whatever it may be. Uh, so very, very handy. Now you can also create your own brand new notes from scratch that would look very similar to this uh, instead of relying on PDFs or EPUBs that you upload. Or you can actually go to websites. So I just pulled up the Wikipedia page here. Uh, they have a browser add-on. This uh, That's what this is here. If I click it, it will actually turn this website into a, a note that I can then edit in their website. Now you can also do it if you pulled up a website that's a PDF. Same thing would happen. It would import the PDF for you. So if I click that, uh, it'll take it a second, but it turns it into a note. You can see. Um, just like this, which is super cool. And then I can basically treat it like I was with anything else. So you can turn anything into a PDF to study, uh, save it to polar. It takes it a minute, uh, because it's, it's fairly large, but anyway, you get the gist for kind of how that is working. Um, and now you see, I go to documents, George Washington is there, takes it a minute to, uh, to load, but now I can highlight things just like anything else. So super, super handy thing. Now, the last thing I want to get at, I have my iPad here, um, I'm going to go ahead and hit record on it so that you can see this. But basically with the iPad that's now recording, um, you, you I, I have just what I was looking at just barely, the actual PDF. I can come over here, I can look at the actual annotations and you can see even from the time that I started this video, it's synced um, this, uh, this one over that I, I made those large ones. And then we'll go back here. Let's go to the home page. You can see I've, along the bottom bar here, I can do the home and I can see all those documents that I have. I have all of my notes here. Um, you can add new notes if you want. I can study, I can do flashcards, um, uh, whatever you may be. Switch between documents. It's super powerful. Uh, like I mentioned early on in the video, they're, they're really taking off. They've now hired people and stuff. So what they have now, I only expect to get better in the near future. Uh, and, and I think it's great to support small businesses that want to help us study better, especially when they want to integrate with Anki. Uh, so there you go. Don't forget to use this code for 25% off and you can check the link in the description for a free trial. Thanks for learning with the Onking. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon. That is at OnkingMed. Also feel free to reach out via email or check out our website, onkingmed.com for more tips and tricks.